Eugene, I guess the big news of the uh, week was that the UFC is returning to Sydney on February the 9th next year. Yeah, I heard they announced that, which is uh, it's always cool to get a card down here, especially seeing as though uh, there's a whole lot of Aussies that are, are got in contenders. Um, they'll be able to showcase themselves on that card, I'm assuming. Uh, I don't know who would headline it. Like, um, yeah, I wouldn't have a clue. Obviously, there's Alex, Robert. Um, Israel potentially, but um, yeah, nothing's, I don't know anything more than anyone else knows, so a bit of a mystery at the moment, who'd headline that. When, when it comes down to like coming to Auckland or, or Sydney like that, uh, because you're such a, a big player with so many fighters, do, do they get in touch with you ahead of time or do you just find out the same as everybody else? Uh, no, sometimes, sometimes, uh, yeah, I hear a little bit earlier than um, everybody else, but that's mainly because they've got to line up, sometimes they like to line up a few fights uh, before they, you know, before they announce the date, but, um, yeah, sometimes, but I'm not anyone special to them, yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just a number, so if they, sometimes they let me know for sure, but that's because they need something. Do you think you'd be able to put a good word in for some like, one like Aaron Toe? Uh, always try my best to put in a good word for a young up and coming fighters for sure. <laughs> oh, well, we look forward to it when it's announced. Yeah. Um, I've just been watching you out there with Carlos. Yeah. One on ones and. Uh, getting closer to fight time. Yeah, Carlos is coming along nicely. I, I like I like where he's at. Um, yeah, I've got no complaints so far with Carlos. I think um, he's uh, working on our strategy pretty well and it's coming together quite nicely. So um, just a bit more tweaking, uh, more repetition and uh, we should be sweet. We should send him on his way in, a, in top form. His opponents fought for a title before, like he's a well-credentialed fighter, uh, number six at the moment, but yeah. um, uh, uh, any anything difficult to uh, overcome with him? Yeah. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> yeah, a lot. He's a very big, uh, very strong man with some, uh, you know, he's got some very good skills. Uh, he's a, a big puncher, he's an aggressive, uh, fighter, he's not, he won't be afraid to um, uh, step in and close the distance. Um, he won't be afraid to, you know, try and close the gap right up and, and wrestle Carlos. Um, yeah, this is the one. This is the this is the test that Carlos has been gravitating towards. Uh, Volkan Osdem. Yeah, this is the one that this is the big one. So um, we're just carrying Carlos in the right direction to step up. Um, on the local scene, uh, there's been a few shows. You've got a lot of fighters on a show next week. A, a new um, addition to the promotions around here, Stealth Fighters. Yeah, yeah, Stealth would be pretty cool. Like The, the boys have put on a big show um, for their opening show. Um, I don't know if it's a little too big, but I'm not complaining. Like It's good for the sport. Um, a new player or a new name coming in and doing big things. So, um, yeah, hopefully the fighters can impress. They've got a, they've put together a very, very good card, um, a professional and amateur card. They've got some very big names. So I think we've got uh, six fighters, and they're all very good fighters. So um, that's going to be a, a cracking show. I hope... Um, the fight community and the general public come out and support that show because uh, that's going to be a great show. The other thing that I want to talk to you, I know you're in a hurry to get away, um, Dan versus Connor. What do you what do you know? How, how much do you know? <laughs> how much can you say? <laughs> uh, where is Dan today? Is he? <laughs> he's with, with Connor. Connor. <laughs> uh, I oh mean, I, yeah, um, I got nothing to say about that. I just a couple of blokes meeting up in Spain, having a beer. I think I've never really put it up 
put it past more than that. Um, but I guess there's a real off chance um, that the fight occurs. You, you never know. Oh, look, at the very least, he's put his name in the hat with the other hundred fighters <laughs> that want to fight Connor. But, um, nah, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind seeing Connor fight again. Even if it's not against Dan, just I wouldn't mind seeing him fight. Um, how, how do you see that time. matchup with Connor and Dan? Good, good matchup? Hmm, I haven't really thought about it. Yeah, potentially. Potentially. Potentially I can, uh, you know, you can see Dan uh, trying to, like, uh, impose a certain strategy where he tries to keep Connor off him and then you can also see Connor imposing his strategy and then Dan's strategy turning to shit and then he's in a firefight with Connor McGregor. Or you can see Dan staying disciplined and keeping him out. Like, there's many ways to see it, but, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, if, shit, I haven't really thought if, about if, it. If, if they weren't well-known names, would you would you match Dan against Connor? Like, if they were, you know, it wasn't for huge bucks and all that sort of thing? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. I think I'd... You know, if there were two amateur fighters with relatively the skill set they've got now, I think you wouldn't be any reason why you wouldn't take the fight, you know? Connor's got a bit of, um, I mean, Connor's got some power and some sting, but um, you'd have to back some of Dan's attributes against that power and that explosiveness, so yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah. We're playing uh, fantasy football, yeah. aren't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. I know you've got to go. Thanks very much, mate, uh, yeah. for the catch up. And, uh, yeah.